Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Darrell here, bringing you the word for the day from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 17. I'll be reading out of the ESV version of the Bible. And the actual scripture reads this. It says, And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So as we read this scripture, this verse is giving us direction in whatever we do. If you notice, it doesn't say some of the things we do, but whatever we do in words and deeds. So let's unpack this a little. So the first part of this verse is speaking to what type of verbiage is coming out of our mouths and the tone of how we speak to people, how our conversation should be in love and of course in truth standing firm in God's word. We are expected not to put people down, but, but to lift each other up and point people towards Jesus. You know, there's this old saying that goes, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Well, guess what, everyone? That's a lie, okay? Because our words can hurt deeply if not delivered in love. So let's put our differences aside and learn to speak to one another in love, and of course, the truth of God's word. Now, as we look at the deed part of the scripture, let us be reminded that we are called to serve Christ if we love and follow him. And as we become willing servants of the Lord, it's important to recognize that all of our serving should glorify God, not ourselves. No matter how much talent we have, remember, that he gave us that talent to glorify him, not ourselves. So let's be careful not to boast. The last part of this verse tells us to give thanks to God through Jesus. Are we people that engage with God on a daily basis, giving thanks for the Savior that God provided us to have a relationship with him? Are we truly understanding the magnitude of what God did so we could have a relationship with him? Do we, in our daily lives, represent God properly? Because without God slash Jesus, there is no everlasting life. Thank you, Calvary, and have a very spirit-filled day.